So now I'm just going to share the word of the Lord with you, if that's all right, if you'll stand for the reading of the word tonight. I'm going to the book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 10 through 12. Acts chapter 4, verses 10 through 12 says, Be it known unto you all and to all people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doeth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at alt of you builders, which has become the head of the cornerstone. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So tonight I want to preach to you at that name. So why don't we lay our Bibles to the side and just lift our both our hands to the Lord tonight and ask Him that He would speak to our hearts and our minds tonight that we may receive the Word of the Lord. God, we thank You for your this day that You have given us, oh God, that we have come into Your house once again. God, we pray that Your Word, God, would go forth from this pulpit tonight, God, with the fire and authority and power that only comes from Your name, God, that it would see seed on these people's heart, oh God, and it would fall on good ground tonight, that your name would be glorified in all aspects, oh God, and we give you glory, God, and we give you all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God, and we praise your name, and we give you all the glory, and you may be seated. At birth, we are all given a name, and our mothers begin and our fathers begin to call our name. From our very first day, we said, oh, and we begin to call it because we want the child to learn their name. And when we go to school, we learn how to write our name. And as life goes on, it progresses farther and farther, and we must learn to sign our name. Because when we go to sign legal documents and things, that gives the authority that I, am, I my name is, I'm signing this as I'm going to repay this or I'm going to do this. It gives some legality because we have signed our name. And we all know how important our middle name is. Because when our mother begins to call it, we all begin to cringe and we all begin to, ooh, because we are in trouble. But our name really isn't important. But it's the name of Jesus that is important in our lives. No matter what my name is, it's the power and the authority that's in the name of Jesus Christ that should be important to us and that should matter to us. Because at that name, anything can happen. At the name of Jesus, demons have to flee. Miracles happen at the name of Jesus. It's not at my name or at anybody else's name, but it's only At the name of Jesus that things begin to happen and things change in the atmosphere. All at the name of Jesus Christ. In our scripture text, we see here that Peter was having to address the Sanhedrins because this was the first miracle that had been performed since the death of Jesus. So they thought they had taken care of all this nonsense that had been going on. All these healings and all these miracles and signs and wonders that was happening because Jesus once was on earth. But now they're still happening. This lame man that sat at the gate and begged for alms every day that laid there. Who had been that way from his mother's womb. Now they found him to be whole. And they said... They were asking him, by what power or by what name have you done this? What what power do you have to heal this man? Or what name have you done this in? And Peter boldly proclaims, by the name. Of Jesus Christ. By the name of Jesus Christ. The only saving name. The only power that has the power to save you. That's the name we did it in. The one you crucified and killed. And thought you got rid of. No. His power is still living in the earth then, and it is still living today. The same power that raised that lame man from that 
gate is the same power that we possess today. And it's the same authority and the same power has the same ability to raise up the sick, to raise the dead, to heal the lame, to give you salvation. The same power is here today, tonight, to give you whatever you have need of tonight. They were maybe just on their normal activity to go to the hour of prayer, but they had unordinary faith that day. They said, we may not have silver or gold. We may not have what you're begging for today, but we have something greater. We have something that you maybe not even think you need, but we have something that your soul and your body is longing for to feel the power of the name of Jesus. He said, at the name of Jesus, rise up. Rise up in the name of Jesus. And that lame man rised up, rose up. And however that happened, the leg bones began to heal. And whatever was wrong with that man was no longer an issue with that man. All because these people had unordinary faith in the power of the name of Jesus. Just to speak the name of Jesus. And that man rose up. They didn't spend hours upon hours doing it. But they just spoke the word and the name of Jesus. And that lame man wasn't lame no more. It, he, Jesus responds when people call on his name. When he hears somebody calling on the name of the Lord, he responds to that call. The name of the Lord that possesses all power. Possesses the ultimate authority. He commanded us not to take his name in vain. One of the commandments is not to take the Lord's name in vain. Why? Because he wants us to have reverence and respect. Because that name, when we begin to call on that name, something's going to happen. Things begin to move. The atmosphere begins to shift when we call on the name of Jesus. He says, I want you to reserve a special place in your mouth. When you call out the name of Jesus, I want you to speak it with authority. Because when you speak it, things will begin to happen. And demons will have to flee. And the lame will have to get up and walk. And Depression will have to go and anxiety will have to flee at my name because I have the authority and the power. Don't, don't irreverence my name, but I want you to have a reverence for my name because it has power and authority. And when you speak it into the atmosphere, the atmosphere shifts and changes. But don't speak it ill. Don't speak it in a negative way. But speak it when, it, speak it when, it's a th when you're ready to see something happen. That's when you speak the name of Jesus Christ. In my studies, I was studying verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there's none other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. And we are all very familiar with this verse. But as I was reading that word salvation, the original Greek word is so soteriha. If I say that right, I'm not. A Greek scholar, so it just means to rescue, to have safety, to deliverance, health, safe, and saving. While we, it does mean that he provides salvation for repentance of our sins or for that, but it also means that neither is there freedom in any other name. Because there's no other name given among men whereby we must be freed. It, neither is there healing in any other, for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be healed. There's no other name, folks. There's no other name besides the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, the miracles happen. There was a woman that came to the la one of the crusades that we just had, and she says, I've been waiting for you to come back. I've been waiting for you. We were not, we didn't have... Crusades through COVID, so she had to wait all through COVID. She said, the doctor says my ear is completely gone. There's nothing they can do to touch my ear. I'm completely deaf in this ear. But I knew if I could just wait for those people. Those people, she knew that there was something different about those crusade people that came around because she had seen the power move. 
She may have not understood everything that we believe and understood everything that was happening, but she says, I know where the power is. I know that those people that have come around and have these crusades, they have the power, and I'm going to wait, and I'm looking, and I'm expecting them to come back because I need a healing in this year. And I'm glad to tell you that woman came to that crusade, and she got healing in her ear because the name of Jesus Christ. She had faith enough to say, I'm believing on the name of Jesus. I'm waiting. I'm anticipating. God, for those people to come back so that I can go and call on that name and get my healing in my ear. God opened her ear. And that was just a so wonderful testimony that she waited and was waiting, expecting. Because the doctor gave her no hope. The world, she could, medicine couldn't give her any hope. But she says, I'm waiting. And when the name of Jesus was called upon in that crusade and that Word of faith was spoken across that crowd. That woman's ear was healed instantly. And the lame began to walk in those crusades all because the name of Jesus is the only saving name. Whatever you have need of, that's the name that we must call upon. Salvation is in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear must flee at the name of Jesus Christ. Depression has to go at the name of Jesus Christ. Negative thoughts are cast down at His feet. Chains have to fall off in the name of Jesus. Freedom from bondage of this world. Generational curses all have to bow at the name of Jesus. No demon is greater than the name of Jesus. The captive can be set free. All when you call upon the name of Jesus. Paul and Silas were in chains, but they began to call upon the name. And they were set free. We live in a world that tries to put all kinds of negative thoughts and things on us and give us an identity that we don't belong and it's not ours but God says you are my child and when you call on my name I will respond to your voice I will answer your call because Ephesians 3 and 20 says now unto him that is able to do exceedingly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us not our power but the power that's in the name of Jesus to do anything that we ask in his name above all that we above all not even just what we ask above all we think or ask but, but do we truly believe that tonight church that he can do anything do we truly believe that all things can happen at the name of Jesus Christ you're not going to change my mind <laughs> Because I've seen God move in such a miraculous way. From healing the deaf ears to opening blinded eyes. And these people, the Bangladeshis, have such great faith. Because we've seen, I've seen one lady and I prayed for her that she was mute. And she, I prayed and I was like, God, you've got to open her mouth. And I, I was just praying. I said, God, you've got to open her mouth. And that one crusade, he didn't open her mouth. I was like, why? I was like, oh, so perplexed in my spirit and I said oh God you can do it I know you can all these other miracles are happening and then the next the next crusade happened and that same girl I looked around and there she was she was back there in the front of the altar and she was still praying for God to open her voice and the second time the second crusade God opened that lady's voice and she began to speak and it's all because of the name of Jesus Faith in the name of Jesus. Keep in the faith strong. Let faith arise in your life tonight that God can do it. Right. At His spoken word, God can raise you up. Right. God can take you out of your miry pit and raise you up to where He wants you to be. Amen. Nothing's too hard for God. Nothing's too hard for Him tonight, church. He can do it. He went to Calvary for our sins. He went to Calvary for our healing, our transgressions. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. And his stripes, we were by his stripes, we were healed. He, he died on the cross for our sins. And for every single person in this world, sin, every nation, every tribe, every tongue. He died for them. God 
died for every American, every North American, every Indian, every Bangladeshi, every Chinese person, every nation, every tongue, every people group across the world. He died for them. He was on their mind. Maybe Bangladesh wasn't even thought of to be a nation for many, many years later. But God had those people on his mind when he went. He said, I'm going to one day I'm going to show up in that nation. And I'm going to show the nation of Bangladesh people who the one true living God is. I'm going to pour out my spirit upon them. And I'm going to heal them. I'm going to heal the sick there in that nation. So that I can show them who the one true living God is. I can show them that I'm the God that answers by fire. I'm the God that has all power and authority. If they'll just call upon my name, I will take care of them. I will give them salvation, but I won't just stop at salvation. But I will give them healing and I will give them restoration. I will touch their mind and their body and their spirit. I will touch all of them if they will just call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Everything happens at the name. You may, we, you may think I'm crazy, but we pray over our car a lot. The air conditioner has started working before when we call on the name of Jesus. So you can't tell me God doesn't care about his people. We prayed one time in the air conditioner. It wasn't working. Last, not this time on deputation, but the last time. We didn't have no money to get that air conditioner fixed. And we were getting ready to go to Mississippi. And we were like, God, you got to do this. And Sister Wright got out there and she began to pray over that air conditioner. And that thing's worked ever since. That thing hasn't stopped working. At the name of Jesus. We didn't call on any other name, but at the name of Jesus. So you, God cares about the small problems in your life. God cares about the big problems in your life. God cares about you. You and he wants to bless you. He just wants you to say, hey, I want you to depend and call upon the name of Jesus Christ. I want, to, I want you to call. I want you to have faith in my name that I can do it. I want you to believe that I can do it. I want you to call upon my name. Because that's where the power is in the name of Jesus. When we begin to command and speak the name of Jesus, demons flee and things happen. The disciples were commanded to preach and to baptize and to heal and continue on in the name of Jesus. And through the book of Acts, we see that they did that. They baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. We see that they were healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We see that they prayed in the name of Jesus Christ. They seen miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. They seen deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. So we should be commanded today to continue on preaching the name of Jesus Christ, praying in the name of Jesus Christ, baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ, because there's no other name where we're going to be saved or healed or free, but at the name of Jesus Christ. No other name has power and authority. No no idol that was made out of man's hand can do what the power of God can do. Nothing can come against the power of God. Because He created this world. Everything that we see in the world, He created. Everything that we look around in the beauty. And this New Brunswick district is beautiful. Beautiful to see and to travel. We've been so blessed to be, see all, a lot of New Brunswick and it's beautiful. But God, Jesus, was the one who created all of this. All of the red dirt y'all have here, He created all of that. And all of the things y'all have here, He created all of that. But he didn't just stop there, but he created it and he continues to rule and reign and authority over this earth. He didn't just create it and die and go somewhere else, but he is the one who sits on the throne and is still ruling and reigning as is in the chief place and in the chief authority tonight. So he is standing today waiting for someone to call on the name of Jesus for their situation. He's waiting for someone to say, God, I need your help in this situation. I've done it long enough by myself, but he's waiting on you to say, Jesus, I give you this situation. So as we stand all over this place tonight, you have maybe came with a need tonight. You may came with a situation. You may came with a problem that you really don't know the answer to. But you came to the right place tonight. 
Because we're going to begin to lift up the name of Jesus now. And this co- as a collective body. And Jesus is going to show up. And he's going to begin to touch minds. And he's going to begin to touch hearts. And he can touch you. Whatever you have need of. You can call on the name of Jesus. With your faith. Mixed with faith. Not in the wisdom of man. But in the power of God. Let your faith arise tonight so whatever you normally do if the musicians come that's fine they can come but at the name of Jesus your problem has to go at the name of Jesus your healing can be yours tonight in Revelations 12 and 11 it says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony The blood of the Lamb has already been shed for you. The stripes were already taken. Now it's our turn to lift that word and to speak the word of faith out of our mouth. Let the words come out of our mouth that we would glory in the name of Jesus. That we would give a testimony out of faith saying, God, I may have come to this place with a problem, but I'm not leaving with it. I'm giving it to you. But I may, I may have came bound in this place. I may have walked with my hands tied and I didn't feel free. But by I'm going to come to this altar. I'm going to lift my hands up and I'm going to be give, to give you a word of testimony, God. I'm going to be speak that word of faith out of life, though it was. Though it may not see me, I do not see it as it is. I'm going to begin to speak the word of faith and say, Hey God, calling on the name of Jesus Christ. That at night we may see victory. We may see deliverance in this house tonight. These altars are open. Why don't we gather around these altars tonight on this Wednesday night and begin to call on the name of Jesus. Don't stay in your pew. Come out and lift up the name of Jesus tonight. If you don't have a problem, come and just lift and praise the name of Jesus tonight. Just come out from where you are and gather around this place, oh God. And let's call on that name, the only saving name tonight. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah.